On many modern vehicles, they use an electronic parking brake. Now that can be difficult when it comes time to replace the brake pads because it has an electric motor holding those brake pads together. You need to often put it into a maintenance mode in order to release the caliper and change those pads. So let's walk through how to do that on this Jaguar here. Okay, so on this vehicle, it's on the anti-lock brakes module. We'll just hit continue. And that'd be a functional test. Special functions. And we have two functions that we need to do. So the first one before you replace the brake pads would be parking brake pad replacement release to service positions. You have to release that caliper. So we'll click on that. And it says procedures should be carried out before the parking brake pads are replaced. Warning, after the brake pads have been replaced, you must carry out the exit maintenance mode before doing anything else. Note that when in service position, the parking brake will not operate using the parking brake switch. So all good things to know. We'll continue. Please ensure the battery voltage of the vehicle is kept about 12 and a half volts and that be on the 12 volt battery. This is an electric car. Uh, connect the battery charger if needed. Make sure the following actions have been taken. Make sure the vehicle is stationary, level ground, brake pedals not pressed, chalk the wheels, make sure the vehicle cannot roll backwards or forwards and release the parking brakes. So all that's done. The procedure will retract the parking brake pistons to allow new brake pads to be fitted. Continue. Make sure neutral of park is selected. You can hear the calipers retracting the motor. Wait for the countdown to finish. It's going to reinitialize the module, another 10 second countdown here. Okay, now the operation is complete. Then we would replace the brake pads. After we're done replacing the brake pads, we now need to do that exit maintenance mode. So that's right up here in this section, parking brake pad replacement exit. Uh, please carry out this procedure after the parking brake pads have been replaced. Please ensure the battery voltage is kept about 12 and a half volts as before. Make sure level ground, chalk the wheels, all the things we had to do before. After new brake pads have been fitted, this must be completed to re-enable the parking brake operation via the parking brake switch. Make sure to neutral a park. And then it will now bring the parking brake motor back in. Okay, and once that's done, you can now drive the vehicle normally. Now remember, you need to use this procedure anytime you're going to replace the brake pads on many vehicles with the electronic parking brake.